Hey, it's Caroline. Today I want to take you through a quick, effective butt and hip massage video. All you'll need are two yoga tune-up balls, tennis balls, or if you're really crazy, lacrosse balls. Um, I highly recommend yoga tune-up balls. They're about $11 on yogatuneup.com and they're really easy to travel with and use for all of these videos. So when you're ready to get started, you're just going to lay down on the mat and bring the balls to the center of the buns and let the hips rest down on the mat. Bring your feet together like butterfly and you can let your hands rest by your sides. So here the balls are just applying pressure into the hips and the buns and I just want you to feel that pressure and take a nice deep breath. Inhale and exhale. From here, with both balls in the button, you're just going to sway the hips side to side. And of course the balls are going to move as you move, so you might just want to have your hands close by to readjust as needed. So rocking side to side. This is a gentle way to warm up the muscles for the deep tissue massage we'll be getting into in one minute. So rocking side to side, readjusting as needed. I have to warn you that some of the techniques we might do today will be intense. So of course if you feel any sharp pain or electric pain, stop, check in with your doctor before proceeding. But if you feel that deep tissue self-massage, that's a good kind of pain and should provide a sense of relief. Good. Remove one ball from the bun and place the other ball in the middle of the glute. With that ball there, let your knee fall to the side. One knee faces the ceiling. So you're in kind of a figure four position. From there, you're just going to circle the hip kind of like you're playing air guitar, <laughs> and let the ball massage that butt cheek. And you have to readjust your body a whole bunch, but hopefully it feels good. So go slower or faster as needed. Big circles. Making sure to breathe and get deep into the tissue. From here, rest the ball into the glutes and I want you to come up into what I call fireplace pose. So one knee is bent towards the sky and that ball is into the butt tissue. And you're just going to rock side to side with the hips. This position provides a little more pressure, so you should definitely feel this. It might be rather intense, so move slowly and keep breathing. Good, find a spot that needs a little bit of extra attention. So maybe you cycle a lot and the glute meads are really tight. Place the ball right there. Straighten the bottom leg, keep the top leg bent. With the bottom leg straight, all I want you to do is push down into the floor and flex your glutes. Then relax. Good, try that again. Push down into the floor, flex the glutes, and relax. Move the ball uptown or downtown, find a little, another spot that needs another little extra love. And try that again, push down with the thigh and relax. Good, one or two more, push down and relax. Now with this bottom leg, I want you to make bicycles. So you're keeping the ball pressed against the glute and now you're moving this bottom leg, and this would really help if you have any hip pain, knee pain, lower back pain. It's hard. <laughs> Definitely feels intense. Good, so keep that cycling motion going. And then straighten the leg, lay back down on the mat, bend both the knees, and come back to center. So. You can remove the ball from the bun and you should notice a difference between one side to the next. We're going to switch the other side. So ball goes in the center of the glute on the other side, one knee falls to the side, one knee stays facing straight up. And then from here, I just want you to make those circles with the hips. So letting the ball trace the bun, 
going in all directions, so all around the glute. Making sure to breathe. And if you you should feel that good hurt, that muscle hurt. <laughs> nice, and then rest there. And I'm just gonna turn to the side for the sake of the video. So ball is in the bun and you're laying down your side. From here, I want you to come up into that fireplace pose and then just side to side with the hips. So letting the ball work into all of that tight tissue and tension that has been created over time through sport, through work, through stress. Oh. Straighten the bottom leg and find a spot on that glute that needs a little extra love. From here, with the straight, with the leg straight, push down into the floor. And then relax. Good, try that again. Press the thigh down into the floor. And relax. Good, from here you can go uptown or downtown, find another extra spot that needs some love. And try that again. Push down into the ground, strong leg, and relax. And last time, push down to the floor and relax. From here, take this bottom leg and make cycling motions with the foot. So really move the leg in all directions, up and down. Good, and then try the other way. And the ball is pressed up against the hip. It's pretty intense. Good, so big cycling motions and then return the leg back to straight, lower the body down to the mat, and roll back on your back. Remove the ball from the bun, let the feet come to butterfly, take one hand on the heart, one hand on the belly. Close the eyes and take a deep breath into the belly, and let it out. Try that one more time, deep breath. and out. Return the knees to center, slowly roll up. Doing this video series on a regular basis will help you have healthier, happier muscles and prevent injuries before they stop you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out carolinejordanfitness.com for more. Thanks again and I'll see you soon. Bye.